Hey friends, David Miller here, Phoenix, Arizona multimedia artist. Welcome to my studio for Module Creative. It's been a long time since I've YouTubed. Uh, it's been a really rough summer, but hopefully I'm back on track now. And today I wanted to talk to you about psychedelic photography. These are a couple methods that I've been using this year uh, to create works that have a lot of what you might consider like trippiness to them. Uh, I've seen one of these very frequently on Instagram, which is the use of Future Eyes crystals. Future Eyes is a company out of Los Angeles, and they sell a variety of crystals, some of which are lens sized, some of which are just like genuine large crystals that people hold and manipulate in front of their cameras. I ordered a few of these, got them on a clearance sale, and uh, had a lot of fun with them. I wish I had some to wield in front of the camera with you guys right now, but alas, a lot of them I dropped on the ground um, between the time that I first started using them and the time that I decided to make this video. And when you drop a crystal on the ground, it's gonna get first a few cracks in it and then ultimately it's gonna shatter. So these are uh, things that you need to handle with care. That said, it is such a simple concept and simple effect to carry around in your bag. There's no batteries required. It's literally just hold something in front of your lens. Uh, my favorite results are the ones that I did using my 35 millimeter camera rather than my digital camera because that's the ones that felt authentically the most like uh, album covers from the 1960s. And with anything that's like a filter or a crystal that you put in front of your lens, the thicker the glass, it's gonna cut down on the fidelity, the sharpness of your image. Uh, that's kind of what I like. I feel like when you're going for sharpness, you're losing a lot of the mystery of an image and maybe you're not using a crystal to decrease the sharpness of your image. Maybe you're shooting through like a dryer sheet or fog from a fog machine or something like that. Even Ansel Adams, when he did a lot of his really epic landscapes, if he had one that included natural fog, of course, that's going to introduce an air of mystery. The other one is light brushes, and I'm gonna do kind of a full video about light brushes, but essentially uh, this is a company that has light painting tools and some of the ones that are particularly my speed are these whisks. And like I say, I'll do a full video on light painting and these light brushes, but just to give you the general uh, situation, you're gonna be in an all dark environment. You're gonna have your camera on a slow shutter speed. You're gonna have your aperture stop way down. You probably have your ISO way down, something like 200, 400. Uh, you'll Turn on the camera, have the shutter open, you'll whisk over with this attached to a flashlight. And because this is fiber optic, it's going to have the light registered throughout this whole whisk and that's what you'll be capturing ultimately in your final image. It's gonna be whatever movement you place on whatever object, be it a model or a stationary object. Uh, the idea is that the only light that's captured is what you are touching with this brush and capturing also the movement that you're doing with this brush. Now this one's all white. They do sell one that's black with only the tips on it. And I find that's really useful um, if you're just trying to illuminate an object and you don't wanna have this swirl of psychedelia about it. But for things that you want to have a psychedelic, uh, ethereal, energetic effect, then this is the way to go. So there's, two recommendations for doing psychedelic style photography, things that are really trippy. Uh, of course, there's a lot of other things you can add on to your camera. Lens Babies, something I've talked about in the past, uh, has a very dreamlike effect. I don't quite put that in the same category as something that's really trippy and strange. Uh, but if you're like me and you're not entirely into the idea of capturing you know, complete reality in your images and you wanna be more expressive with what you do, uh, a lens baby is a perfect addition to this other set of psychedelic tools. And absolutely, it does make your uh, photographic experience a lot more surprising. And that's kind of what I'm going for at this stage in my own photographic career. 
Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of my videos. Got a lot of other photographic tips, things on graphic design, animation, uh, things that'll help you out in your creative endeavors, whatever they may be. Talk to you next time.